People always ask me, Lemon or Ali, why do you do social media? I'm about to tell you why. You know, my whole life I got bullied a lot before I ever did, before I became whatever popular or famous on social media, before any of this stuff you know, happened to me. The main reason people always be making fun of me or bullying me is probably my accent. The way I talk, by the way, I learned English when I was nine years old and I'm born here in America. I got bullied so much when I was younger, when I was in middle school, you know, I had people spilling milk on me, girls making fun of me, you know, you know, you go through stuff like this in life, you know, I'm not saying that, okay, I got bullied, literally, whatever, I got bullied a lot, like I'm telling you, my accent, the way I used to dress, the way I used to wear, even right now, they, they look at me, they're like, why are you buying this stuff, I never ever had the opportunity to wear these, like, I never ever had an opportunity to buy this shirt, I never ever had an opportunity to get this watch, I never ever had an opportunity to get the chain, I never ever had an opportunity to show myself to hundreds of thousands of people. Because every time I want to show people who I am, people that bully me, they come and block me. They come and kick me and tell me no. Or yell at me or hit me. You know, I'm, I'm about to speak about something right now. Only I don't, Not a lot of you guys know, only maybe a couple people where I can count in the hand probably know about it. Earlier this year, about five months ago, I got jumped. You know, I got jumped by five people, you know. Social media, you know. They asked for a picture, I'm like, sure, let's go. Took a picture, I'm walking to my car. They come back, boom, 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 I get jumped. After I got jumped, I, my, I think, you know, I wanna say I probably needed that, but I really did not because, like, why did I get jumped? But when I got jumped, it woke me up. It told me, Ali, continue what you're doing. Because people are seeing what you're doing and they're jealous of you. So it made me continue what I'm doing. And I just kept on working on myself. And the main thing people tell me, quit social media. Quit social media. Quit doing these things. Quit doing haram. I'm not doing any haram things. I don't do any haram things. Alhamdulillah. I'm so respectful to my religion. I'm so respectful to everything I be doing. I'm respectful to my family. I would never do anything to make my family look bad in front of people. I'm the most respectful kid that you can ever meet. I do social media for a reason, is to help out my parents. My parents are not broke, they're not poor, they're just living life, you know? A mom and a dad raising their children, you know, sacrificing, building for their children to continue the legacy for them. I'm here in life to help out my parents. You know, I got my father, my father wakes up every day at three in the morning to go to his work and that's, my father, he has to do this to raise his kids, to raise his children. That's his job in life. But my father been working for 29 years, the same shift every day from 3 to 2 in the morning. From 3 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Every day. Every day for 29 years. For me to grow up and for me to rewind and open my eyes and see, okay, Ali, I am old now. I should be having responsibilities. I should be doing things now. I should get up and work. I should show my family that I'm making money. I should show... The people that bullied me, that I'm a human and I matter. That's the only purpose I had in life. And for me to achieve goals that I never, ever believed in myself. And thought that I would achieve. That's crazy. I'm not saying I'm rich. I'm not saying I'm broke. I'm not saying I'm famous. I'm, you know, I look at myself. I say I'm popular. You know, I'm, I'm a popular person. You know, people know us from Greek and Lemon. Just waking up the neighbors with a drum. That's the purpose of people knowing us, you know? But I keep working hard on myself, and that's what you guys should do. Keep working on yourself. Don't let anyone let you down. Listen, you might get bullied, you might get hit, you might get jumped, you might get... You might fail. Any, listen, in, in life, listen. In life, this is a game. Life is trying us. You get one shot. This is not no Fortnite. This is not no thing where people can revive you, you come back, and life you spectate. Life is a one-hit wonder. You do something, you work on it, you fall down, you learn from your mistake. You continue. You don't say, oh, I screwed up. You go, you work another couple of years, you make enough money. You look, you be like, okay, if I failed at this, let me go try this. You do this, you might succeed in it. You continue in this new thing that you want to become. That's life, man. That's life. I love you guys. I know, you know, some people right now might be like, uh, like, what are you saying, bro? Like, who's gonna listen to you and stuff like that? I never.
honey, I just I just love doing me, man. And honey, I I'm just like I'm the most human that like, I don't know, man. I just I I love people. I I love the humans, and I love helping out people in need. I just like doing that because life is nothing. I swear to God, wallah, life is nothing, guys. Please, like, don't yell at no one. Don't fight anyone. Don't make fun of anyone. Don't talk to like listen. Even my family, they have a couple problems where they, some of them don't talk with each other. Like, I look at them sometimes. Like, why? We're all going to die at the end. What are you going to take with you? No one takes anything with them. Nothing. The only thing you take with you is probably the blame and the stuff that you did with you in life. That's the only thing you take with you. I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything, you know. I don't know, man. I'm just, I just, I just see life in a different way, you know. My family, they want me to do school. I mean, of course, you know, school is, is the way for you to be, for your future, for your, you know, for your career and stuff like that. You know, I gotta stay with the family. I, you know, I'm not trying to fight my family, yell at my family. Where I go, I, they, you know, they, they tell me we don't want you here because of something, you know. But I can't go throw my social media. I can't go throw millions of people that like you and follow you and support you. Over something that made me go down. Like school, listen, school, I love school, I support school. But school made me go down. Like school wasn't like a place for me where it told me to continue doing what you want to do. It was literally social media that made, that, that created me, that built me over. Like I was a person that was, I was listening to people every day hating, bullying. Them. Like I had... The whole school before I did social media bullied me. Did social media, everyone respected me. When you do something like that, you learn the first time. Cut everyone up. They like you. They support you. They believe in you. Don't talk to anyone. Do you? Have the only people I respect is the people that believes in you before you became who you became. If you're watching this video right now, I want you to know that you got it in life. I love you guys. I know I did not expect me to be talking for seven minutes, but I love you guys. Thank you guys for everything that you guys did for me. <laughs> the music cut off. I love you guys. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Just keep working on yourself, and one day you'll probably become rich.